Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it is Monday so it is meal prep day. Today I am back with meal prep. I did not have a meal prep last week because I was on vacation and I am so excited to get back into my normal routine, prepping my meals, having healthy options on hand. It definitely helps me stay on track and lose weight. It is what's helped me lose well over 100 pounds. So if you're excited for meal prep to be back, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly links, discounts to all my favorite things as well as my Facebook group, definitely head on over and join us. There are all down in that description box. So I'm excited to get cooking in the kitchen. So let's jump in. this week, I am making a hash brown breakfast casserole. This is such a well-rounded breakfast. We have carbs, protein, fats, lots of protein in this breakfast actually, so I am really excited. Let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need frozen hash brown potatoes, eggs, salt and pepper, light shredded cheese, bacon of your choice. You can do center cut bacon. This is the Columbus turkey bacon from Costco. I love this turkey bacon, it is so good, definitely recommend. And then you'll need some low fat cottage cheese. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually cook my bacon. My favorite way and what I think is the easiest way to cook bacon besides in an air fryer is to put it out on a baking sheet and throw it into the oven. I always put some parchment paper down first, that way it catches any grease, makes for super, super, super easy cleanup. I am going to go ahead and just cook up the entire pack of bacon. I always do that because any leftovers we can just eat and then we have enough bacon for the recipe. Our turkey bacon is just about done cooking in the oven so now we're going to crack in nine eggs into a medium sized bowl. We're adding in four cups of thawed hash browned potatoes, two cups of light shredded cheese, which is this entire bag. You can see here that it says two cups. 12 slices of bacon. So I'm just going to use some kitchen shears and slice it in. Lastly, one and a half cups of low fat cottage cheese. Then go ahead and stir everything together really well. Get your oven preheating to 350 degrees. The hash brown mix is going into a greased nine by 13 baking dish, and then we're going to get it into the oven. It's going to bake for about 40 to 45 minutes. The hash brown be breakfast casserole is out of the oven. This looks so good, look at that. That brown crispiness, that edge of the hash browns. We've got bacon, eggs, cheese, cottage cheese, just packed with protein and flavor. I will go ahead and put points calories, serving size here on the screen for you. Of course, the recipe is on my website. Make sure you click the link so it recalculates it into your points. If you do not have eggs at zero points or potatoes, your points will change. But that is breakfast for the week. I'm really excited to have this. For my lunches this week, I am making a turkey pinwheel meal prep. I'm going to show you how to put together just a really well-rounded lunch that's great for on the go to take to work, or in my case, just having ready on hand for a healthy lunch while I'm working from home. So first, let me show you how to make the turkey pinwheels and what we're going to pair that with for our lunch. So first you're going to need a low carb tortilla of your choice. For your points to be the same as my points, you wanna make sure that whatever tortilla you choose is one to two points. You'll need a slice of the really, really thin Sargento cheese, the mild cheddar's my favorite, some baby spinach, 
light mayo, laughing cow, cheese, and then whatever zero point lunch meat that you want. I really like this cracked black, black pepper one from Boar's Head. So to get started on putting together the turkey pinwheel, grab a plate or something that you can prepare it on and your food scale. And then we're going to start with one of our tortillas. We're going to spread one wedge of Laughing Cow cheese over the entire base of the tortilla. So I have my food scale set to ounces and I'm going to add three ounces of turkey. One tablespoon or 15 grams of light mayo. You can also add the mayo at the same time that you add the Laughing Cow cheese, which may actually be even a little bit easier just to spread it out. One slice of that thin sliced cheese. I just kind of break that up and spread it over the turkey. And then your baby spinach, really however much you want to add. I just place it just so that it covers up that cheese. So maybe, a small handful of baby spinach. And then we're going to take the tortilla and we're going to roll it up. And you do wanna roll it up somewhat tightly so that when we slice it, we have those really nice looking pinwheels. What I like to do is cut it in half first. And here's what it looks like. Doesn't that look so good? And then you can cut each one of those halves into however many pieces you want. I'm going to go ahead and cut mine into three pieces per half. So six pinwheels total. And then go ahead and place your pinwheels into whatever meal prep container you're using for the week. I like to just kind of lay mine in there on the bigger side of this meal prep container. This is actually from Amazon, so I will go ahead and link these meal prep containers down below. I love the little two compartments, and I also love the bowls. I use the meal prep bowls all the time. And then in the small part of the meal prep container, I'm going to just add some cut up strawberries. I will share with you guys a couple other things that you can add to this meal prep, depending on what you're trying to get out of it, whether you want some more healthy fat, some extra protein, if you wanna incorporate fruit nuts, I'll give you a couple of ideas of what else you can add to it. So a few other ideas for you for your meal prep. So if you have maybe a three compartment container, or if you want to be able to store the fruit and roll up in the fridge, you could always have one of these pantry items on the side. You can also include one of the guacamole cups these are the holy guacamole cups from Costco. These are zero points. If you have avocado is zero points because it's literally just mashed up avocado. It's convenient because it's a single serving size. And this would actually go really nicely with the pinwheels and would even make a more well-rounded lunch because your avocado would be your healthy fat. Another way that I really like to get extra protein and extra healthy fat is with nuts. So you could really use whatever nuts you want. These are the Blue Diamond Gourmet Garlic Herb and olive oil nuts. These are so incredibly delicious. I wouldn't recommend putting these in the fridge, but put them in a little baggie and set them aside with your lunch meal prep. And that'll give you some extra protein and again, some healthy fat. You could also pair it with some crackers. That would be a really good addition for some extra crunch with your lunch as well. You could even throw in an extra cheese of an extra wedge of Laughing Cow cheese and spread that on the crackers. Here's what my lunch meal prep looks like. So I have my turkey pinwheel roll up. I have some fresh strawberries. I will go ahead and put points, calories here on the screen for you. This is one serving. So this is such a great, easy lunch. It's ready to go. It's healthy. You're not going to McDonald's. So definitely prepping lunches for me has been a big game changer. sweet treat this week, I am making lemon blackberry muffins. I can't tell you how excited I am for these muffins. These would also make a really great breakfast paired with some eggs. Oh my gosh, would be a good breakfast, good sweet treat, really good any time of the day. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need low fat milk, all purpose flour, light butter of your choice, whatever sweetener alternative you want to use. I have the Lakanto monk fruit. You guys know this is my all time favorite sweetener. To me, it tastes the most like regular sugar. It doesn't have that cooling effect. I do have 15% off for all Lakanto products on their website. I'll make sure that it is linked down below for you. Highly recommend. You'll also need some baking powder, vanilla extract, fresh lemons, 
fresh or frozen blackberries. I just have two small packages of fresh blackberries and some eggs. Now we're ready to start putting together the blackberry lemon muffins. I can't tell you how excited I am. First, we're going to add one half of a cup of melted light butter and three quarters of a cup of the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. Mix that together until combined. Now we're going to add in our two eggs. one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and about a tablespoon of lemon zest. Now I love lemon flavor, so I'm going to add a little bit more than a tablespoon. I'm just going to zest this entire lemon. I always just save the zested lemon and just add it to my water. I don't really notice any different without the zested part. And then go ahead and mix that together again until well combined. We're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. This is a half of a teaspoon, so I'm going to do four. About one cup of flour. This was two cups total, so we're adding half. And then we're also going to add about half of a cup of our milk. We have one cup total. And then mix that together. You want to make sure as you're adding in flour and milk that you're mixing so that everything mixes really well. We need that baking powder to be mixed throughout as well. So I did decide to go ahead and grab a whisk. That seems to be working a little bit better. You could probably even use a handheld mixer. I'm going to add the rest of my flour the rest of my milk, and then whisk again until we have that combined completely. And then lastly, we're adding the blackberries, and we're going to gently fold those in. Using a medium-sized scoop, we're going to scoop out 12 muffins. Go ahead and set your muffins aside. We're going to put together the crumb topping. Yes, we are making a crumb topping. To put together the crumb topping, super easy. We have one cup of all-purpose flour, one half of a cup of the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, we're going to go ahead and zest another tablespoon of lemon, or in my case, I'm just going to zest the entire lemon. And then I have six tablespoons of light butter. I'm going to add about half and then stir because I don't want too much liquid as we want this to be a crumble. I'm going to add the other half of my light butter. It looks like that is the perfect amount to make that crumble consistency. We're going to take some of the crumble and just add it to the top of each of the muffins. And here's our muffins. Let me just tell you how fresh and lemony these smell. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to throw these in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. I just went ahead and refilled my little sugar container with my Lakanto. This is the sweetener that I use and you can buy this huge three pound bag on the Lakanto website. So I always buy a large bag of the granulated, the powdered and the brown sugar substitute because again, it's my favorite. Of course, it'll be linked down below for you with that 15% off. Oh my goodness, look at these little beauties. My lemon blackberry muffins are out of the oven. These look so good. These are huge muffins, like bakery muffins, and they are only five points a piece. That includes the crumble on top. I will go ahead and put calories, serving size, everything here on the screen for you. I'm definitely, definitely probably most excited about these, but we know that I love a good sweet treat that's WW friendly and low in calories. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I am so excited for all of this amazing food this week. If you're excited to give this video a thumbs up again, make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we meal prep every Monday and I do upload five Five videos per week. I will have all of today's recipes as well as all of my recipes on my website that will be linked down in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. Don't forget to come on over, join us in our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.